hello and um welcome to my second cascading style sheets tutorial well actually my third um yes my third um in this tutorial i will be teaching you how to successfully position an image using a div layer and cascading style sheets so first you want to do is you want to open notepad like i have already and you want to make a file called style.css you can call it anything you want but it has to have the .css so we know it's a cascading style sheet document okay <laughs> now um this we're gonna position a an image like on the left of the screen and towards the middle almost okay so we're gonna do to define well first we're gonna define the div layer class and by doing this we're just gonna do we're gonna put in all the functions in which that class will act to so the position the size all that kind of stuff so to define a a class all you have to do is start with a period and then type in your class name we're gonna call this class name image a like so put a space in an open swirly bracket and then hit enter tab you don't have to do the enter tab part but i like it oh my god i like it so you um are more organized in your text documents okay so first you have the enter and tab and we're gonna do want to add a border to this we're gonna add a border to the image so we'll do border colon space just to make it more organized you know we'll do one pixel the style will be solid and the color will be black like I said before black can be defined as the word black or in hex values it's a number sign six 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 I mean zero 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 six zeros and all or for shorthand you could just do three zeros okay now we have successfully um, added a border to this image to the actually we're not adding a border to the image we're adding a border to the the div layer or class or ID whichever you prefer to use so put another enter in a tab and then type in position how do you want this div layer to be positioned on the page now we're gonna just do absolute which means we get to define our own variable to it using top and left I mean you could all always do like center left right yeah 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 but for now we're just gonna use absolute like so okay so after you have done that put another enter in a tab like so and then we're gonna type in the word top and then a colon and a space and now what this will do it will um create the div layer to be positioned as many pixels from the top as you specified so we'll just do we'll do 200 right now you can leave it 200 like that or px for pixels like that okay and then an enter in a tab and a colon a space okay this one left here let's redo that from top we'll go enter tab and then type in left how many pixels you want the div layer to be positioned from the left side of the page we'll do 125 pixels okay and then whatever you want but for now we're just gonna end it like so we're gonna save it like that and then we're gonna move on to the index part of where we'll actually show you how the image will be positioned. 
Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up another notepad, like that. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it index.php. Okay. Once you have made an index.php or index.html, whatever, whatever you want, but I prefer PHP since it's easier for me. Um, now we're just going to start off with the basic stuff here, HTML head. And now we're going to place this file into this file by using a simple HTML coding, which is a link. So type in link rel equals style sheet because that's what it's related to. Um, type equals text slash CSS. What text slash CSS is is if we were actually really encoding CSS onto our page, we, which you would do what I'm doing right now, like this. Style type equals text slash CSS. Okay, I'm gonna go back to here. Her ref, which is the h referral and do style.css and end that coding. Go ahead and save it. And then we'll move on to the next step where we'll position the um, image in the div layer. Okay, and now we'll just end all this stuff first. For now. Okay, and then save your page. And then I'm going to open up Firefox. And um, I'll show you what the page looks like right now. Okay, now I have opened Firefox, as you can see, and we'll just view the source for now. And it looks like that. What we have typed in here is the same thing as typed in there. Yada yada yada. Duh. <sighs> okay. Now we're gonna close that for now. And now, while I magically make an image up here, that makes it doesn't. In a couple of seconds, um, an image will show up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, as you can see, I have opened up Coral Paint Shop Pro 10, which is just the faster way of opening Open Art Program. And I'm gonna go File New. I'm gonna make a new picture. I'll do just 250 by 250. Just a simple, boring picture. And I'll put that over there. And I'm gonna load the brush it. Okay, I have loaded all the brushes. As you can see, I have many. Yeah, okay, and um, we'll just pick some random ones. If you're a fan, we'll just we'll we'll use this. And let me let's just use this color for now. It's a gradient. Yeah, it's too light, but we'll do a darker one. We'll do. Metal steel, that'll do. Okay, and I'm gonna click, and fan's gonna show up like that. Actually, uh, just make it a little darker there. Okay, now you can see the word fan there. Okay, I'm gonna hit A. Whatever, you, this isn't much of a tutorial. And now I'm gonna save the image, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've saved the image called image.png. And, um,. We're gonna close this whole thing now. Okay. Go back to your index.php in Notepad. We're gonna start this off with a div layer like this. Div class. Class is what we're gonna refer to this, which is image A. So go back to here. Image A. End it. And then image source equals image dot png and then end your dive class save that file go back to your firefox and you can see that the image will be positioned right where we wanted to right there with a border see you can't really select it I should do it like that okay now now it it's it's too much on the top. If I maximized it, then you'll be able to see it. I can only see it. You can see half it. So we're gonna go back here. Go to style. We're gonna change it. See, as you can see, it's it's 200 pixels from here to there, 125 pixels from here to there. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the style and 
we're going to change that. We're going to make this 50, and we'll make this 100. File, save, go back to your Mozilla or Internet Explorer, whichever web browser you are using, refresh, and voila, now your, your fan picture is right where we wanted it. Okay? And if you view the page source, you're not going to see any of this in there. You're only going to see that. All this. All this. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, if you missed any part of this, or just want the sources, you can go to my website by clicking the link right next to the word director. And if you like any of my videos, including this one, then you could always hit that orange button subscribe to automatically subscribe to my videos and which means you will automatically get them as soon as I upload them. Now um, it's always important to give a user a rating for their videos so you could hit any one of those five stars right below this um, movie, video, moving image, <laughs> and uh, rate my video. Well I Hope you thought this tutorial was helpful enough, and I will see you next time, and goodbye.